Communicating with the doves. The morning is here. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We just woke up out of John B's camper, and we're gonna be heading out to a lake that we both have never fished before that I'm very excited to fish. And when we arrived last night, we went down to the water's edge and we saw bass on beds at night, like on the bank. So I'm so excited just to get out here and see what is going on with the spawn. First, I gotta take you on the tour of where we camped last night. John's got a really cool setup for camping with the truck and then carrying the boat as well. So let me show you the rig that we slept in last night. I'm gonna go ahead and make this box ready and available. I left this in the truck yesterday. I thought John would have five inch lunker logs in the boat, did not. So we actually ended up using a, uh, a new bait that's, that's launching here in a month or two. Uh, the penner worm and it worked excellent plastic season you also don't forget to visit googansquad.com use that promo code lfg to get your lunker logs and all other fishing necessities let's head inside of this camper see what's cracking see if these boys are up good morning wieners what's cracking wieners we getting a little sleep sleeps Getting some sleep sleeps. Yeah, you know. I've seen John in this situation so many times, and he bounces back so hard, so quick. You won't even, you don't even know. You don't even know how hard he bounces back. Just gets the rod in his hand, gets the energy. It's like lightning just shoots into the rod and in, into his eyeballs, and he just goes. You put him in the matrix of the live scope. It's done. Bacon, eggs, cheese, tortillas. You know how we do. Salsa. Central Texas. Hot sauce. Yes, sir. Look at this, guys. This is incredible. We got, we got your hot sauce, a little Grand Marnier. Of course. Why not? <laughs> a little some bit of uh, juices, some pack packs. <laughs> Gonna crush one of these right now. Don't tell my daughter Milo. Got a, uh, got a shower here. If you need to wash your crevasses, get that rocking. Here's the kitchen. Look at that. Jalapeno bacon rocking in there. Oh, this no. is where uh, me and John slept last night in the master. This is where Caleb slept right here. And uh, we had ourselves a gay old time in here. It's nice. Emphasis on the gay. And old, honestly. <laughs> Turned 29 this year. And old. So I must say, John's rig, very, very cool. I've got a camper and the biggest problem with it is I can't take it fishing with me, with my boat, because I can't tow both. This solves those issues. <clears throat> fire, uh, fire? Is there a fire? Yep, got a fire going on in here. This thing is it's just full of safety features. But anyway, life on the road, making fishing content for you guys, and hopefully we are going to uh, learn some things together. So you guys strap in. Me and John will be floating on the water here in just a second after we eat our tortillas. Yesterday, I was excited to hit the water. Today, we're ecstatic. Lightning bolts. There's something about grass with clear water in the spring. When I was a, a young man, and my first time I ever went out to a grassy lake called Lake Fork, and there was lily pads and hydrilla and, and milfoil and all these you know, pond weed and all these grasses, and there's just lurking lunkers swimming around in that stuff. And you could see them, like I could see them. First time I ever put polarized lenses on my face and looked down into that water, I saw those fish. It blew my mind. And that's why I became the Lake Fork guy. It enthralled me to go out there. <laughs> and that's, and that, that's and your origin go story. <laughs> that is literally my origin story, guys. And what are we looking at right now? Well, we're looking at clear water with grasses on a lake we've never been to but even though we've never been to it we know we know we it's know gonna to go do. down we know what to do. uh weightless plastics lurkers 
we've basically got like two major creek arms to fish and like an additional like three or four secondary ones. We have a distinct dam and actually some shallow water that, uh, sorry about that, I forgot I was in hand throttle mode. I just have a good feeling about today, boys. I, I'm refusing, I am refusing that. I'm staying strong. You guys don't even understand. <laughs> Staying strong right now, okay? We're gonna make it. If there's any time to send that. <laughs> I know. Right now, man. I know. If you guys missed my, uh, one of my recent videos, I, I've, I've stopped sinning. I've stopped dipping for, well, about a month now. And, uh, Month's up. it's hard. It's hard in the spring. Because one of my favorite things is when you get on some fish and you just throw a fresh Nicky in and it's like, mm, sticking them. And lipping them, it's so fun. But sticking uh, and nicking. Can't do it forever, you know. Got a lifespan. Anyways, back to fishing. Should I retie to start the day? Nah. 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 Where's my box of goodies? Here they are. Oh, this is the box we needed yesterday, John. But you know what? I think it actually worked out in our favor with the worm, the pinner worm, because they were a little they were a little tampered with up there. We didn't know nothing about that pinner worm, but they're about to know a little something about a log here. What? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go start the fishing off with a little tip here, guys. So um, here's the difference between fishing a lunker log and a and a pinner worm. So this worm, <coughs> wacky rigged, this lunker log, it will wave on the way down. It wags, whereas the pinner worm. It will do that a little bit, but not nearly like this lunker log. So with the pinner worm, see John is twitching. He's twitching it a lot, and then he's pausing. That's how you want to work that thing, because it's just constantly folding and, and just undulating. With, uh, with the log, you can almost just let it do its thing, like let it wag down, and then you twitch it up a little bit and let it wag down again. We're looking for um, looking for spawning areas, so little hard spots with little s sandy, light areas that they've. Uh, it actually makes it easy to see because the water's so clean and dark with grass. There's a 30-pound bass. Did you see that? <laughs> it looked huge. <laughs> what was that? Kind of looked like a. Oh God! Here we go. What the hell oh my that? gosh! Is that a bowfin? What is that? What is it? It's catfish. catfish. Dude, catfish what? up there spawning. Look at that. Look at that, buddy. What the hell? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure I've ever done that before. <laughs> yeah, it is. Caught that fish in a foot of water with a Nico. Ooh! I'm hooked up on another cat. Here we go. Big cats. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. <laughs> there we go. Woo! They charged up, son. <laughs> That's a decent fish right here. Fast, healthy. Let's see if I can sling him. In the boat. In the boat. This is, um, my first ever catfish, large mouth, shallow water duo here. That's pretty funny, man. That's wild. That's when you know everything's spawning. Yeah, everything's shallow. Everything's chasing that warm water. All right, we're going to let this guy go. First fish of the day. Love to see it. Oh my gosh, bald spots everywhere, dude. Yeah. Oh gosh, what a little gosh, what, what's going on here? Did you see that run? Oh my gosh, that was nuts. That was a nice one. I don't even think I ever really hooked him well. I got to see him and touch him though. He came way off that bed to get that. Like a good three feet, I missed it. Another good size male, like a two and a half, tie two. Oh, there's another one. Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, dude. You're just up here on the bag, baby. Whew. Love it. Love to 
see it. Mmm. God, oh, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a fun time. Oh. Right there. Here we go. Oh, nice. Good one. Now you need help. This is a good one, buddy. Got ourselves a tasty one here, boys. Oh, and I never retied, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take her easy. Oh, got some themes moving up. Good. Oh, nope, nope. Look at it. Yeah, it's so dark. I'm not sure it's even ready. Oh God, that's actually like a big one. Wow. <laughs> We are catching pigs, boys. Good one, brother. Ah, ah, yeah. God, I love it, dude. I gotta love it. Look at that, perfectly hooked. This is he's an animal. Look at that, perfectly in the schnoz, lunker log fish. That's just a nice female coming up to do her thing, baby. Great breakfast, great morning, with Mr. John B. And a great fish right there. Mm. Five of those. Let's let this beautiful fish go. Back into the grass. Got me one. Got me one, boys. Fighting like a little bonita. <laughs> it is. It's like a little sideways. Yeah. <laughs> uh. There's just tons of these little buddies up here. Oh yeah. There's a chance to hit this one. The skies are looking dark. The bass are looking green. See a fish. Tons of those in the shallows. They are just up there, folks. We're just kind of looking for a, a little bit bigger one. John's throwing a glidey. He's had a couple of uh, follows. You know, maybe trying to get some of these fish that are just hanging out on the outskirts. That's um, usually the case. The, the bigger ones will hang on the outskirts and just wait for the perfect moment, opportunity. So uh, you, usually when you see fresh male fish, you know, they're fat, they're healthy, they're up there. Usually the, uh, the bigger bass, the females, will come in either that night or maybe the next day. Maybe John's got a giant right now. That's a pretty good one. I see a pink worm in its mouth too. God, what a fish, dude. My first bass of the day. First bass of the day, not my first bite. What a day. Yeah. Still rocking the same lunker log I started with today, guys. We're going uh we're going with the band mode, band method. Got a turtle fall in it. Oh yeah. Nailed him. Oh, he got it. Oh yeah. Good one. Right on the bed. Uh, oh god, just juicies. Well, you pinpoint that was baldy. Woo! I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. We out here catching juicy greens, boys. Mmm. Where are you at? Where are you at? Mmm. God, they fight. They are fighting. Look at that healthy fish. My gosh. Yeah, oh, where are you going? You're not going anywhere with that daggum gold series just pegged in your face. Look at that. That is a model citizen of the bass fishing community. Probably pays his taxes. <laughs> Just chunky butt healthy fish. Go multiply and be merry. We love you. 
see another one locked on that bed. Just remain for a boat. Got him. Got him. Locked. You're an aminal. Fresh line, feeling confident, got the 12. So we can't get too crazy on the boat sling, but that's just a healthy. Oh. Come here, baby. Oh, God, perfect hook set. Just beautiful. Everything was beautiful about that. See you, my guy. Have a good spawn. See you next year. Oh gosh. Stomping, dude. Just stomping them, dude. Stomping them. So in 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, these big themes are gonna slide up in here. Maybe, maybe even today. If we get any kind of sun, I wanna, I wanna look. We're in a creek right now, but I wanna look like some deeper docks and stuff like that. See if Nadine is creeping. It's time to catch one. It's time to catch a good one with this little frontal no, nugget love, coming through. I love this weather. <clears throat> oh gosh. Already. Tooted my line pretty good. Proud of that color. That was the color. Green pump never hurt anybody, huh? He was, he was into fishing. Hiya! Payow! No! This is not bad, dude. This is not bad at all. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh gosh, that's a big one, buddy. Oh, gotta get that like stance. That yeah, yeah. Good. There it is, like a little putt stance, like you're putting. Look at that chunk. I'm gonna throw him back. Look at this one here. I don't think you can bow. I don't think you'd fling him here. Oh, nice little acrobatics before inevitably being grabbed by the sloth himself. And just like that, I lose him. Oh, there it is. Oh, feels decent. Oh, oh god, it is. It's a really nice. Oh gosh, it's a big one, bro. Oh, good call. I almost moved too. The biggest fish of the trip right there. Use that drag if you need to. Oh. Seven pounder. Close. That's big. Yeah, it's, big. It's it's just not it's not super fat, but it is big. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a big oh, big one on twelve pound. Oh, oh God, six pounder on Six pounder for sure, yeah. Look at that. Look at that old face. Yeah, thank you, buddy. <laughs> of course. Cool. Nice fish, brother. Woo! That main lake junk. Main lake, dude. That's what we were saying. We were like, let's just keep doing what we're doing here. Let's just move a little more main lake. See if the bigger ones are up there. Because we'd been fishing little creek arms all morning. And yes, sir. That'd be the one. Doing the exact same thing, just different location. That's a bagging. That's a nice fish, guys. Mm -mm -mm. We will now release this fish with a sniff. Mm. 
girthy. Oh, big head. See ya. Uh, just a big headed ninny muggins. Oh, I love it. Green pumpkin lunker log. You know what it is? You know what we do up there? We worming. I think this is like my 30th fish today. It feels like it. Probably is. You went on a tear the first couple hours with that. I had a, it's a shallow water bed blasting session, dude. <laughs> I had to be done to kick it off, to kick off the spawn. I had to do it. Got a little bit of taste yesterday evening with John, if you guys haven't seen that video, Pink Worm Domination. Go check it out. The first beginnings of the spawn. Now, now we're sitting here and it's like, the themes are just hanging. They're hanging back, they're being a little tricky. I mean, I mean, that's just, that's just stupid. That's just stupid. That's stupid, dude. There is nothing to fishing a lunker log either. Even a couple of these, like us can do. Even a couple of dum dums like me and John can catch them on these, and they just—it's like nose candy to them. Look at that, right in the schnoz. If you think. There has never been a fish caught on a green pumpkin stick bait. It's probably one of the, uh, probably one of the tops on planet Earth. Green pumpkin stick bait has accounted for many a fish. So we got a, we got an edge like this and you don't want to plop it on top. So if I just throw this thing out here, it's going to plop like that. It's actually kind of a heavy bait. It's got a lot of salt in it. So if you want to be smooth and silky, you just roll it with a spin and roll, a spin and spin and roll. And you just skip it on in there. It's like silky smooth. Put it down there, Ripper. God, just pulling, dude. Just pulling. What was this? Just a solid puller. Oh my gosh. I'll put this on here. Really? Look at this really, really strong fish. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Is that bigger than the last one? Oh. This is like a five. Four for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a Themes are moving up, boys. Themes. End of the day. It's a five. I think it's yeah, a five, it's a five dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, just up there in between the reeds. It doesn't suck, man. It doesn't it suck. Does, it doesn't suck. This is just that time of year where it's like, just go to the bank. Yeah. Just go to the bank and flick a plastic around. You will be rewarded eventually. That's awesome. Mm. Wow. This one's got some chunk. Yeah. That one's a lot fatter than It definitely is. is. Mm. I love it, man. I love to see it. I love to see you out here thriving. I, I am, I am in my element of springness right now. I've been waiting on this for a while. It's finally here, boys. Dust off the poles if you're not out there already, and get to dangling, because the big girls are moving up. Mm. Oh, I love you so much, girl. Mm. Turn you to the lake. Look at that big body. Big five pound fish. Mm. Hey man. Nicely done. Mm. Go on, one. <laughs> Just 
up there. Up there in the dirt. You know it's a fun day when you start doing crazy stances like this. <laughs> you know it's a good day. Wild now. Wild now. <clears throat> well, that's I've been catching that. Goodbye. Log fest. We've elected ourselves mayor of Lunker City. <laughs> Lunker Log City today. We've gone through them, folks. I need a restock on my log tray. This is how I like to do my logs because... You know, our packaging is really nice. We do a clam pack, so a lot of our plastics don't get jumbled up and pinchers get, you know, gnarled and swim tails and all that stuff. Keeps them good when you need to, when you need to perform. But the log, that's just a stick. So it's one of the few baits that I actually put in a uh, tray, keep them all organized. But here on our uh, five inch side, we're, we're missing quite a few. You want me to just leave these with you? How many do you have left? Yeah, I mean, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Dang, that's awesome. That's awesome, dude. God, <laughs> they, they fight so good in here, man. Woo, dang up. Four or five pounder. Oh, my gosh. Shallow water Gina. Shallow water Tina. I hammered it too. God. There we go. Man, I like a sex. Oh, that's a good one, bro. That's a really nice <laughs> that's a really good it one. It got bigger and bigger the closer it got to the boat. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a three pounder <laughs> yeah. at first, dude. Look how he it's ate like that. Six. Look how he ate that lunker log, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a! I think Rackley's got to leave here a little bit. And with that, I feel like it's a really good way to end the day. Is just finally get a nice big one like that. That is a unit. Look at the tummy. Yeah. God, oh, look Lee. at that bass. Oh Traveling to new waters with my good buddy Rackley, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we got her done. Oh, that feels so good. Traveled all the way Gorgeous. through the new lake. Mm. Mm. Love to see it, uh, folks at home. I think that is a great way to end my day at least. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. But fishing with my man John B for two days. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Just cranking bigs. That fish almost eight pounds. Bro. Eight pounder in the shallow. I mean, we started out, we were fishing shallow, and we were catching a lot of males, had a couple of good ones that were out a little bit, and then they started getting shallower and shallower. It's just that time of year where it could change every hour. And that fish was a foot of water, dude. Foot. Same foot. place we've been. I mean, that's just it. Like you're catching all these one pounders, so you're getting kind of loose. Then all of a sudden, the one you crack in on it just doesn't move. Oh! <laughs> you're not expecting it. So much fun, guys. So much fun. So, hope you enjoyed today's dangle. Go check out John B. He's adventuring. He's in the wagon. <laughs> He's touring around. Snagging wagon. He's in the snagging wagon, doing big things. Love to see it. So. uh just enjoyed my experience. Hope you guys did too. Don't forget to pick up some logs and your other dangle essentials. GoogleSquad.com. Use my promo code LFG. And I got to jump on a plane. We're heading to Florida. You're more right, fishing. Man. Eric Ricky, you're about to go get some more big fish. Spawn time, baby. <laughs> it's on. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. See you guys. Tomorrow.